Beer is later. Agent Maxine report. From Central Florida to Southeast Nebraska. No most. With the weather here, we wouldn't be surprised if we did see one. <laughs> it's been cold and snowy. Yes, it has. We would like to give a special thanks to a certain Welchman who mentioned us on his channel. We hereby invite you to become an agent and the diligent old guard, the D-O-G, the dog. It doesn't cost anything. All you do is pick your code name, then report if you see a moose and a squirrel together. You would be our first inter international agent. And of course, Mrs. H is invited too. As you can see, we like our porridge hot and spicy. Oh no! We're not worthy, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. <laughs> it's a running gag. All right. Well, it's three, two, one. No time at Carson Gardens, baby. <laughs> the person who wasn't talking to a puppet, but should have been and got into a lot of trouble that we've been reporting on for like the last so month. They're gone. So we're not going to be reporting on them anymore. All right. The food bank was Monday. David got some food. And it's not as if Dave's going to starve, but Let's put it this way, it's going to be a very, very tight month. Okay. Now, also Monday, we saw three police cars in the parking lot. Alright. And uh, we saw one guy and handcuffs get put into the back of a police car, which is never a good thing, especially for the person being put in the back. All right. The newspaper said that four people got arrested from here. And Agent P our communication specialist told us that, yes, it's true. So she confirmed it. Now, we're not going to say what they were charged with or anything about their guilt or innocence because here in America, you are innocent till proven guilty in a court of law. Now, on an unrelated subject, fearless leader, 
Have you ever heard the story of the cat and the goldfish ball and the missing goldfish? <laughs> that and we think that Beatrice might have a math problem. But since we don't do that kind of stuff, we're not sure. It could be possible. All we know for sure is that the whole thing is a smelly mess. Yeah, worse than a incontinent man at a prune eating contest. Now, in good news, Davis completed his first two days of classes. All right, and his online classes are going pretty good, too. We would like to give a special thanks to a man named Dennis was letting David use his car to get to and from school. This was one of David's biggest worries. So we are really appreciative of Dennis. Alright. David still has a couple more things to get done, but he's working on it. All right, the biggest problem right now is that Dave needs to purchase a pair of scrubs. We didn't think we needed them, but we found out that, guess what, yes we do, and we have to have them by the end of next month. And they have to be purchased at the college. Surprise, surprise. We're looking into how much they cost, but we think they cost more than the 75 cents we have. <laughs> As for this channel, there will be no story day on Wednesday. In fact, there will be no Wednesday. Okay? Well, it's not as if Wednesday isn't going to come. It'll come, but yeah. We're not going to be putting anything out on Wednesdays. We will try and still do Agents Draggy and Hydro. But we're not going to guarantee anything, alright? And of course, we'll always have the Agent Maxine Report. Well, we always remember Agent Max. Oh, we love that little guy. And even though he used to chew on me. Alright. And as always, we love and miss you. Agent Maxine, out. What? 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 What?